gluten. Can anybody eat it? Everywhere you go these days, you see gluten-free this, gluten-free that. Each week, it seems like you run into a new friend or family member or read about a new celebrity who has gone gluten-free. What is it all about? Do they all really feel better off gluten or is it just a weight loss trend? Is there a risk or need to go gluten-free if you're not really allergic to it? First, let's dive into what gluten actually is. Simply put, gluten is a combination of two proteins found primarily in wheat and related grains like barley and rye. That's it. It's just protein. These two proteins called gliadin and glutenin combine, creating gluten, which helps to nourish the plant's embryos and is a major component in giving the foods you eat that chewy goodness. It's kind of like glue. It makes dough stretchy and gives bread its sponge-like properties. That chewy, gluteny deliciousness can be a major problem for some, especially those who have celiac disease, an autoimmune disorder where the ingestion of gluten can lead to damage of the small intestine and make it difficult for the body to properly absorb nutrients. Eating gluten can be extremely painful for people with celiac with side effects including extreme fatigue, skin rashes, joint pain, diarrhea, cramping, bloating, and constipation. The only real way for celiac sufferers to avoid the pain? Avoid gluten. All of it. I was searching for so long for answers, and when you take gastro problems, backaches, sinus problems, and a panic attack, a doctor, understandably, is trying to put that in a puzzle and make that make sense. Knowing now what I know about this disease, it makes sense to me because the, the small intestine basically is, is housing the serotonin in your brain and it causes depression if it's not balanced. So this is what was happening. But is celiac really that common? In a study by Dr. Joseph Murray, a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, as reported by CBSNews.com, discovered that about 1% of U.S. adults have celiac today, making it four times more common now than it was 50 years ago. And on the flip side, according to the research, about 1.6 million people in the U.S. are on a gluten-free diet, even though they haven't been diagnosed with celiac disease. So what's up with everybody else? What is gluten intolerance? Is it really a thing? According to a 2011 CNN Health Report, experts estimate that as many as 10% have a related and poorly understood condition known as non-celiac gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity. Eating gluten-free has become a fad for millions who don't have the condition, and it's big business, a more than $4 billion industry and growing. You can see gluten-free food everywhere, from the supermarket to the ball field, even on the menu in many restaurants. A recent survey estimated that one in five Americans buys or consumes a gluten-free product. That's far more than the number of people with celiac disease. As Arthur Agatston, author of the South Beach Diet Gluten Solution notes, gluten is not something to fear. Not everyone who's sensitive to gluten necessarily has to be gluten-free. He's found that eliminating gluten for a few weeks and gradually reintroducing it is the best way to assess your body's response to gluten and determine your own gluten threshold. So where do you fit on the gluten spectrum? Does your body handle it well? Or maybe the more important question is, do you even know how you handle it? Talk with your health coach about how to safely experiment with eliminating gluten or other common problem foods. Because you deserve to feel healthy and vibrant in your body. Whether that's with or without the gluten, maybe up to you. For more in depth, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Robin Euclid. Because 20 years ago, there were farmers who just didn't know and were destroying their soil and putting all kinds of herbicides and pesticides on their soil, and then, you know, that was their land. But now, most farmers who really are local and living on their land are treating it as if it were a member of a family.